Hello Capricorn and welcome to Truthful Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 8th of March 2023 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. We have beauty. Beauty can be about seeing the beauty again. It's a really positive uh, perspective, outlook, With that, we have fertility. Fertility can be pregnancy, very good in terms of the birth of something new and something pregnant with potential. So very good in terms of pregnancy. It can also be the birth of something new in other areas, a new idea, a new venture, a new job, new love, renewed love. Again, however that resonates for you. So we'll pull some more cards and see what we have. I'm using the Druid Tarot deck. For those of you who are interested, let's see what we have for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. Fertility energy, certainly with beauty, is a very healthy energy as well. What do we have for Capricorn? We have the Five of Pentacles. <laughs> the Magician, very powerful energy. Six of Swords. And we have the King of Cups. King of Cups, male or female, can be heart-centered can be somebody close to your heart. So we have the five of pentacles, feeling lack, insufficiency. Five of pentacles can be about job loss, financial, feeling financial lack in some way that could be changes in in working hours contracts and so on you know job title this can also be uh, you know emotional lack you know where we don't feel that we're getting what we want out of a relationship you know or we're not made to feel good enough or valued or appreciated our needs don't count, you know, that kind of energy. So we can feel that in work. We can also feel that in relationships too. It looks like there is a strong indication here of working your magic. Again, the magician is certainly an energy here of, of transformation is available to you through manifestation. The magician has the power to turn something negative, like the five of pentacles, to something positive an idea into reality based metal to gold. So a strong energy here of you have the magic. Likely this will be your decision in whether something can be turned around if it's a relationship. And again, if, it, if it's other like, like life areas, it can be about someone may have been working their magic to transform the situation here. Again, this can be a relationship. It could be other areas of life. The Six of Swords can be about healing. So certainly healing in relationships might be open to you, putting difficulty behind you and moving forward to better times. Now again, change might come from healing as well. So this can be about you have been manifesting and again, the birth of something new. Yes, this can be renewed in terms of a relationship, healing, getting back on track and seeing the beauty again, the outlook being more positive and hopeful. Similarly, this can be about the birth of something new again, Capricorn. Again, it can be pregnancy. Again, if somebody went through a difficult time in terms of getting pregnant and they've been working their magic, you know, with the Six of Swords, this can be about the worst is behind you and you're feeling that you're moving towards better times. It can also be linked with, you know, jobs, the birth of new jobs, new career paths. So however that resonates with you, I mean, the fertility energy can, can link with so many things, 
but it's it's something is pregnant with potential in the sense of there's a sense of new abundance and beauty where you don't feel lack coming your way. So healing in a relationship, positive change, potentially in other life areas where you feel that sense of abundance and not feeling lack anymore. This is a new beginning energy on that basis. Okay, and it feels like this person is involved in that. Again, King of Cups, male or female, somebody who is connected with your heart, either has helped you through a situation or this is directly involving a King of Cups energy. Again, male or female in a relationship, potentially. We have, I never lose, either I win or learn. Okay, what do we have? This is a real turnaround energy, either way. You know, you're really moving from lack to the beginnings of a new sense of fulfillment. What do we have for Capricorn, please? We have whale, tenderness, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. So yeah, this healing energy, certainly in terms of relationships, whatever that relationship is, friend, love, family, but there's, there's certainly a sense of healing here. We have polar bear, nurture. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. And that's what you're doing. You're gently releasing them. If you're dealing with a situation where healing is offered or asked for, there's an opportunity to put the difficulty behind you and slowly but surely move to karma shores. And a strong indication in the cards that there is that new sense of not feeling lack and the outlook look the outlook feeling more positive. That's the shift. That's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.